Have you heard of ants committing suicide? Does it even sound real to you? The first thought that comes to our mind is that, do animals even know what is suicide? Let's start the video about how do ants commit suicide. Welcome to Moonjis, a place where you find all kind of facts and mind twirling information that would make you realize that facts are much stranger than fiction. But how do ants commit suicide? There's a cost to following those in front of you blindly. Army ants follow their leader, and hence these insects have a dangerous propensity to commit mass suicide. A tendency to commit suicide sounds strange, right? Now we do not ask you to blindly follow anyone you see, but if you subscribe our channel, it would be an encouragement for us to make more such interesting videos. You probably might have never heard of the term ant mill. An ant mill is a strange phenomenon in which ants loop around and around until they all pass out from exhaustion. It's also known as a ant death spiral in simple terms. So, what's causing them to act so irrationally, and most importantly, why do they even do it? It's all connected to what makes them evolutionary distinct, where their advantageous traits often help to produce at least one drawback. Blind leader. What if I say that the leaders of the ant community are responsible for ants committing suicide? Army ants, unlike most other ant species, are blind. They also don't have any permanent nesting areas. Instead of settling down in one place, army ant colonies are constantly on the move in search of food. When the first ant in line moves forward, it leaves a pheromone trail for other ants to detect and track. When this mechanism is functioning properly, foraging parties are able to lead larger groups back to food. When that doesn't work, the ants pursue the pheromone trails as they flow back into each other, eventually creating an infinite loop that leads to their death. They would almost certainly never be able to escape unless the circle is broken for some reason. If you want ants to change their mind please support us by liking this video, subscribing to our channel and pressing the bell icon so that we can bring more of such amazing content every day. Ant milling has most likely existed for centuries, but it was first recorded in 1936 by ant biologist T.C. Schnerla, who discovered a mill of several hundred ants that lasted an entire day. The majority of them died the next day, though a few continued to circle, weekly, on the verge of death. In a 1944 paper detailing the experience, he wrote about the mill and its aftermath. On the site of yesterday's phenomenon, there is little to no circling. The bodies of dead and dying ants are scattered throughout the area. Just about three dozen of the survivors form a thin, and very irregular circular column in which they plod around slowly, counterclockwise. Other nearby ant species took advantage of their fallen comrades. Various small myrmacine and dolichodoran ants of the neighborhood are busy carting away the dead, according to the report. While the largest ant mill ever recorded is of hundreds of feet in diameter, the majority of ant mills are just a few inches or feet in diameter and contain just a few dozen ants. Alex Wild, a well-known insect photographer, wrote about the phenomenon on his blog a few years ago. When I lived in Paraguay, I saw ant spirals all the time, not just in the region. Army ants have no hesitation about invading rural homes, and I'd come home to find ant circles whirling around on top of my plates in the kitchen, or an intimate ring of five to six ants on a coffee mug. Objects that aren't naturally round, for the most part. Small swirls like this, he writes, are lethal for individual ants but useless for the colony as a whole, which can number in the hundreds of thousands. If you like this video, a sub to the channel would be amazing and share the video with your friends to show off how different this world has been. You can also visit our website www.moonjas.com for thousands of such mind-blowing content. See you tomorrow with more amazing content. Thanks for watching.